Well, my name is Tom Devine. I'm from AV Pro, and I'm here to talk about the importance of the backbone of the AV over IP infrastructure. Arthur, I know you know what I'm talking about. Don't try to hide. So we are talking about what my friend Arthur over here that I'm looking at, he actually specializes in this thing. We're talking about the network switch. This is the backbone of every AV over IP system. So as you can see, that's what I'm calling it. The backbone of AV over IP, the importance of network switches. And <laughs> Yop, do not look at me like that. I don't want to see it. No, I'm very excited to have my friends in the booth cheering me on. So we're going to be talking about network switches, the AV over IP backbone. You cannot have an AV over IP system without a network switch that is configured, ready for the kind of traffic that AV over IP sends, which is different. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. My name's Tom Devine, I'm the Director of Marketing at AV Pro. Um, so let's look at an AV over IP system, right? We have our sources, we have our encoders, we have our decoders going into a TV, and that's all, that's simple, that's how it always works, right? But what the thing that is holding all of these together is the choke point of the network switch. So if your network switch isn't going to be up to speed, your whole entire system is going to be bottlenecked right here. If you have a flood of data, if you have multicast traffic that floods these ports, that's going to shut down systems. And it's up to you as integrators, installers, designers, consultants, to ensure that you're specking in a network switch that was built for this kind of technology. So it's all about meeting the specs because AV sends a taxing signal. This is a signal that, you know, if you used internet and, and, and ethernet normally for emails and internet sending these packets, well, it's pretty easy. If a packet drops, it will end up getting it later. No big deal. That's not the case with AV. With AV, we have a constant flow of data, and this is a very taxing signal with lots of information. So we need a big black backplane. So that's where we have um, our, our. That's what we're showing here, right? So you can have huge systems. You can make them as big as you want, but you have to have the networking infrastructure. So let's take a look on how we can go beyond a forty-eight port switch by stacking switches with a core switch. So we have a huge core switch right here feeding into different core switches right here. And that allows us to put in 40 decoders. Now we're up to 80 decoders. Now we're up to 120 TVs being routed, different signals being repeated and routed throughout the entire thing. And so setting that up so that you have the right type of bandwidth that can flow from this switch into your core switch and back into another switch. Because if you have encoders on here and you want it to go do a decoder over here, you need to ensure that you have enough bandwidth on your loop. So you want to take a look at your uh, the kind of ports that you have. A QSFP port is going to, a QSFP plus port is going to give you 40 gigabits per second. So you want to make sure that if you are stacking a switch, you have one of those connections for each eight devices that are going to be um, connected. So encoders, you know, you're, the importance of designing with multiple network switches, you need to balance bandwidth. You can't have all of your encoders on one device and all your decoders on another device. You need to ensure that you're balancing your, your uh, encoders and decoders. You know your switch and you work with the manufacturer that put that together. Decoders, much easier to balance, right? Uh, they use less bandwidth, one for every display. So that's a lot simpler. Balance your encoders, and then you can fill in your decoders wherever you need it to. And knowledge is power. At AV Pro Edge, we manufacture our own network switches. They're called the MX Net switches to work alongside our SDVOE encoders. And we, so in the, our um, web GUI, you're able to not only manage your encoders, your decoders, your resolutions, your scaling, your EDID, but you can also go into switch management. So you don't have to go into AV Pro system to set up the audio video and then go into a network switch to configure it. 
It's all in one system with AV Pro Edge. And so now you can kind of see where that that importance of having that backbone, we know that's where the breaking point is for an audio video system. By AV Pro having their own network switches, we know we can send them pre-configured for the encoders, decoders, and control systems that are built to work with this. So now you don't have to have a networking specialist. You don't have to have uh, somebody who spends all day long configuring network switches. No, you can order one. It's going to come out of the box for audio video traffic. You can have a level one tech set it up, and you're going to be um, moving right away. And when it comes to SDVOE, what's really important is interoperability, right? We're putting together systems with TVs, speakers, uh, Ethernet, all sorts of different things that we need to work uh, together. And so that is an important thing from AV Pro as well. So with our 10G systems, not only can you have the encoders, the decoders, the control box, but we also have Dante Audio that will run alongside the SDVOE uh, video signal. So now you have the best imaging possible over AV over IP with SDVOE, and you have the standard and networked audio that every integrator is looking for for use of our ease of install, and that's Dante. Thank you guys so much for learning in, about the AV over IP backbone, listening to me for a little bit. I do appreciate you guys coming out. For more information on our products, go to avproedge.com. Our booth is right over here. And I want to thank SDVOE for having us and hosting us and providing us with some of the best ICs in the entire industry. Thank you so much. Music.